Hi, welcome to Lunologic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the last week of October 2021. I am doing this a little bit earlier this, um, this time because I am taking three days, three consecutive days off to um, relax, rejuvenate, you know, do my uh, spiritual my personal spiritual stuff. So, it's going to be a little early, but this will be for next week. So, that will be the last week of, um, like I said, of October. Um, happy Halloween as well. So, please keep in mind, everything is subject to free will. Your free will and anyone or anything that you were interject with connected to free will. As well as the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. I will also be pulling some ruins here as well. Let's see. So what's going on for Sagittarius, please? The sun. Okay, so happy times, children, things being illuminated, joyful, happy. Okay. Ace of Swords. What else? Seven of Wands. Okay. One more, please. Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. You have two aces. Okay, so something's being illuminated, and with the with the uh, with the sun here and the ace of swords, that is absolute clarity. There is no doubt. There is no second guessing. There is no benefit of a doubt that can be given and or received. Period. Like, period. If you see here, if I can pick it up, you see the, the crows here, the ravens? These are all warnings. Okay, you have the bat and the buzzard here. Buzzard can denote what's dead and decayed, right? Right? Or scavengers. There's a comet here, or a shooting star, so Aquarius energy. This is absolute 100% certainty. There's no more illusions. You see the air sign here of the divine is holding out this sword. It's perfect, crystal clear. Then you, with the sun here, you see with the smile on the sun, almost looks like a skull, and see how the face of the skull is in the sunflower here. So it looks like things are happy on the outside, but really on the inside of a situation, it's not. Looks can be deceiving is what I just heard. <clears throat> then you have the seven of wands here. This is um, defensiveness, um, fighting, aggression, um, energy. But this is someone who is an owl that is picking up a bat. So it's like protecting what you already have. And then the Ace of Wands here, it, which is actually a spinal column, the Ace of Wands, with the three-headed skull here. And then you have a skull in the, in the clouds and an owl in the clouds. So here's the deal. You need to use wisdom here because there's something that you're taking a new direction. This, this direction could end very, very badly. You need to listen to the divine on this one or not. I mean, it is your free will. Nevertheless, you it, it's your defensive communication here about the steps that you're wanting to take. You are trying to protect against someone finding out the truth regarding a new love interest, a new romantic partner, a new sexual partner. But they're going to find out. Let's see. Why is this on here, please? Or excuse me. Why are the cards? Why are these cards here, please, Spirit? How many shuffles? Two more. So we have one. And two. All right, here we go. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> What's being illuminated is the fox here. This is a major wake-up call because the light is being shined on someone who is choosing to be sneaky. Somebody needs to have boundaries with this person. This could be used to be someone else. There could be a Leo that's being very sneaky. Now we have the sun, again, with Ace of Pentacles. There's truth. You have three aces. 
You have three aces now. This is all about new offers. Truth about new offers around finances and someone being sneaky and shady around finances. Or just sneaky and shady with offers, contracts, um, anything really. The truth about a Leo is coming out. And or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's coming out. You could have in your chart. They could have it in their chart. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Somebody here is getting a harsh wake-up call. Look, the moon. Somebody here is defensive because they're, at, especially at night. Okay, you go from 31 to 32, so there's a, an additional. There's an adding, and there's the other one. Okay, there's three people in the mix here. This needs to change. Someone's sneakiness needs to change around their stability, around finances and money. Somebody is very defensive at night because there's a lot of illusions in uh, deception at night. Someone also might have uh, nightmares too. Someone is also thinking about leaving in the middle of the night. Or they do leave in the middle of the night. Okay. They're trying to bridge the gap with a new offer, a new romantic partner. They're trying to bridge something. This could be you or this could be someone else. You could be the third party here. Or you could have a third party or your person does. But somebody here is like very defensive and leaving at night. For some place. Somebody here is leaving. There, there are, someone here is lying about wanting to build a bridge. To to bridge the gap between two people. Because there's a there's a third party in the mix here. There's new love offer here. Show me, let's see, show me these cards, please, Spirit. Okay, I can't take all of that. That is a lot. Thank you, Spirit, but I can't take all those. Show me these cards, please, Spirit. All right, here we go. Loyalty. Someone's sneaky and lying about loyalty here. We got one person who could be very, very loyal. The name could start with a C. While one person's being sneaky. They're, they're going in different directions. I don't know if you can see that. You see the dog and then you see the fox. They're both looking the same direction, but their bodies are turning separate directions. So this person is only looking back at the loyal one to see if the loyal one knows what's going on. Some Okay, someone is finding out the truth that this mother, okay, is very loyal. Fate is watching all of this deception. Yeah. Pleasure seekers here, a drinker. Um, it's causing a lot of despair. Someone is waiting, just waiting for someone to meet them, come out of the house. So or send them a message in the middle of the night. It's like somebody waits for someone to go to sleep so they can leave. Or to communicate with somebody at night. While the other person is sleeping. Someone also might, might be going out to party a little too much as well. Or they drink too much or they smoke too much or whatever it is that they do. No judgment. Now, I'm doing this a little bit different than I've done the other ones because it's just it's just a lot to try to do. Let's see. Is there any other messages, please, for Sagittarius? They're, they're sneaking about this. Any other messages, please? Yeah, look. The devil. Someone he, likes to have someone locked in a cage. There could be a... There's some form of addiction here or power, abuse of power or some type of control or some type of mental, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I have to take a sip of my drink. I might have to give me some tea. <clears throat> There's some form of Greed, power. There could be a mental health issue here as well. Or an addiction. Obsession. It's like keeping someone trapped on purpose. Anything else, please? Slowly, slowly offering some form of commitment here. Someone rides away with the money. Okay. Someone's trying to ride away with the money. Yeah, and go fill, go to fulfill their own wish fulfillment here with the star. 
Someone could be literally cleaning out someone's bank account in the middle of the night, Sagittarius, and just leaving in the middle of the night. Now, I know in some cases that you kind of have to do that because you're in a, a particular situation that's pretty bad. I'm not saying don't do that if you, if you are in that type of situation where like there's physical abuse, right? Or, you know, emotional abuse, any abuse of any kind. Um... But if that's not happening and you're just stealing from someone, even now if you're married, then it's joint. But that person still is owed their half, right? If you're not married to that person and you somehow get into their account and you just dip with all their money, you're stealing. Somebody here is slow to offer some type of wish fulfillment or healing because they're chained to some type of addiction. We also have the King of Cups here. So they're holding back emotions on purpose. And it's creating a lot of conflicts and, and drama here that's unnecessary because of someone holding back their emotions. Someone has a lot of regrets. It's like someone's trying to leave this, the scene of a crime here. Right? But they, they do have regret, but they're just, the, they're trying to get away with something. I Yeah, someone here bewitched somebody. And they're taking their money and they're going out and partying. They're very defensive over this, though. Could be you, could be them. I want to look at this card. And yeah, I just want to look at that card. That card is really standing out to me pretty pronounced. Alright, what is this about, please, sir? What is this card about, this devil card? What is the devil here for? Why is the devil here, please? <clears throat> Nine of Cups reverse. Yes, yeah, someone is not sincere. In this situation, fake apologies, the moon. There's a lot of illusions here. It's very toxic, very um, suffocating. But someone's not sincere about their apology. because they're, Yeah, they're lying. There's a liar here. Queen of Cups reverse. There's lies and manipulation here. Someone is literally drowning them, their sorrows in, in alcohol and or they're just drowning in their own tears or drowning in their own sorrows. Not having emotional control. The devil, again. You think someone's the devil, Sagittarius. You think a Scorpio is the devil. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Capricorn. You think that they're the devil here. But I don't think that they are, but they could be. Strength card in reverse. Five of coins in reverse. Somebody here is going back to a Scorpio. Someone is not able to tame their lust. Somebody here is not able to withstand or to uh, hold back from this water sign. They want to return back out of the cold. They want to be with a the person. Um, they're obsessed about them, about being with them. Seven of coins are first. It's not equal either on their side or, or yours. Somebody here is very, uh, very obsessed about being with somebody. Yeah, Ace of Wands. But yet they also want new love. Okay, they also still want new love. But I just don't. It's like somebody here wants their cake and eat it too. Plain and simple. And it's it's an obsession. There's an, there's an obsession here. It's like this person wants to keep their playthings, right? Or somebody here wants to keep their playthings. They want to have multiple options, but yet still have some type of form of uh, a formal or committed relationship. Someone likes to play a lot of. Someone plays too damn much, and they have a deep obsession with this. All right, let me write down this title. see who you might be dealing with yeah it's just a very deep obsession let's see what signs or elements could Sagittarius be dealing with last week of October 2021 please <clears throat> yourself you could have Sagittarius your sun moon rising anybody else an Aries sun moon rising you might be obsessed with an Aries 
water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see. All right, cross watcher. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, what are their intentions towards you? Spirit, what is Sagittarius's intentions towards cross watcher, please? They want to hold you down. Okay, with the anchor here, they want to hold you down. They want to lock it down. So I just heard. Prison. This person's going to make you trapped just as much as they're trapped if you weren't already. Someone here is trying to hold you down. They want to trap you. Conver they're trying to hold you down with conversations here or hold you to a conversation. They're waiting here for you, cross watcher. They're also waiting for money. So, okay. So, Sagittarius, you might be the one who's taken from a cross watcher. Okay, so cross watcher, a Sagittarius may be stealing from you, coming up very soon. Okay, all right. Let's see, Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, what's Aries' intentions towards Sagittarius? They could have sun. They could have Aries and their sun, moon, or rising. Show me Aries, please. They're a liar, Sagittarius. Or they think you are. Or they feel like you're lying about money, or they're lying about money. Okay, what else about Aries? They feel like there's an older woman who's a liar. You could be the older woman. Or that could be someone that you're tied to or they're tied to. What is their, what is Aries' intentions towards Sagittarius? They're watching you. All right, if you're dealing with a Cancer, what's Cancer's intentions towards Sagittarius? Well, they want to marry you. They want to connect with you. What's Scorpio? They love you like sibling. A Scorpio loves you like a sibling. Cancer wants to marry you. What about Pisces' intentions towards Sagittarius? They want to be loyal. So I feel like water is a good go. Anyone that you pick. Um, I don't feel like this is romantic. The Scorpio, I feel like it's more platonic. I feel like they love you like family. You could have someone with the name F and C in here. Or P. Okay. But yeah, water signs look pretty promising, but uh, the fire signs, maybe not so much. You are a fire sign, but cross watcher, this, if, if this, cross watcher, if this Sagittarius reading that I did just now, this little menu thing right here resonates with you, then that Sagittarius is nowhere near uh, healthy and or safe. Okay. Like at all. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let me get some guidance. I oh, know I want to get ruins first. Show me. Let's see. Okay, masculine energy is not quite able to see something. This could be you or someone around you. But and the sun again, it is being illuminated that this is a bad harvest. It's a bad harvest. This isn't gonna work. You know, because someone, someone just isn't seeing something. Someone isn't communicating either. There's too many people connected. There's still three people very connected. That's being hidden. Just take a new direction. Take a new direction. Or, you know, you don't have to, but that's what the, that's what the runes are saying. Might be time for a new, new plan of action or a new course. Um... I feel like it might be just like focusing in on yourself. All right, so these you can take in the upright or in reverse, okay? What guidance do you have for my Sagittarius, please? Guidance for my Sagittarius, please. Okay, I can only take one. Which one? This one. Grief in reverse. Okay. Let's say number 20. So maybe you're really trying to heal from something. That's been a long time coming from for healing. Okay. It talks about mourning and loss, but it's in reverse. <coughs> grief. So when it's in reverse, grief is a warning in reverse. You're about to lose something you love. 
though you know it has run its course. Even if it seems unexpected, things have reached their natural end. And although painful, it's time to let it go. That's your guidance. Also, please allow yourself to feel, to go through the whole process of grief. Okay? And someone doesn't have to die in order for someone to be mourned. Okay? You can mourn the loss of the time, the loss of the relationship, the loss of whatever it is that you've lost. Or all the losses that you need to grieve. Take the time to go through that process. If you don't, it will come back. To bite you in the ass sooner than later. And possibly in another relationship later on down the road. If that's the case. Um, also to reach out to the Scorpio friend if you need to. Yeah. I feel like they, they love you like a sibling. Or they really, really care about you. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. I hope this helps. If you want to get a personal reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, um, comment, and subscribe and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, Sagittarius, please take care of yourself. Until next time.